The countdown to the new year is on, and while we're all probably thinking about our own new year resolutions to better ourselves, we don't want to forget about our four-legged friends. They might need some help with it as well, right? Joining us this morning via Zoom to talk more about how we can keep our pets happy and healthy next year, or tomorrow, starting tomorrow, Dr. Christian Broadhurst with Clay Humane Society. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so I think that this is important because, um, I, and I would like to mention, uh, you know, first and foremost also is, is that we see this every single year. I had some really good friends who had two of their dogs drown in their pool because they became so overwhelmed by the sound of the fireworks that the dogs just simply just didn't know what to do. Uh, could you just remind our viewers about the importance of taking care of our pets tonight? It certainly is something to be concerned about. Um, a lot of fireworks are going to go off tonight. A lot of. Hey, there you are. Have I got you? Yep. Yep. We've got you now. Go ahead, Doc. No uh, technical problems. <laughs> um, it's certainly important for our dogs that we keep them indoors, keep them controlled. Um, and if you know that your neighbors are going to fire off fireworks, this is a very good time to have medication on board from your veterinarian to be able to keep your dogs calm and happy while the fireworks are going off. So as we think about how we can help our pets maybe get into a little shape or better shape uh, this year, what suggestions do you have? Well, it's all about diet and exercise, just like us. So yeah. it's good to keep exercising, get out there, be active, um, take your dogs for walks, take them to the dog park. It's also really important to feed them good food. We want to be sure that your dog is eating a well-balanced um, diet that will, you know, not full of human food, not full of table scraps. Um, and just like, just like us, diet, exercise, and preventative care are going to be what it's all about. Um, if you have any concerns, you know, certainly talk to your vet. It's much better to have preventative care than it is to wait until your animal has a problem um, before getting it seen. You know, sometimes the food that you can purchase at the vet can be really expensive. Some people may not be able to afford that. Given that, when you walk down any kind of line at a pet store or a grocery store, it's overwhelming because there are so many options when it comes to choosing the right food. Do you have some suggestions? Are there certain things that we should look for in terms of ingredients? Yeah, certainly um, there are basically three tiers of food. There's the, you know, the bottom tier, which you want to try to avoid. Uh, those are the most affordable but often have the least good ingredients in there. There's the middle of the road foods, which are the ones you're probably most familiar with. Purina, Hills, Imes, Yukonuba. Um, you can find those at pretty much every pet store. And those are generally speaking, very good brands of food to have. Then there are the top shelf foods, which are certainly the kind of boutique foods that are very good for dogs that have food allergies and things like that, but might be overkill and over expensive for your average run of the mill, healthy house pet. And we want to remind also our viewers, you might think that grooming is really only if you have dogs that have long hair or cats for that matter, but grooming can help them in other ways in terms of their health. Absolutely. Grooming is important for teeth. Grooming is important for claws. Um, if you have a pet a poodle, a doodle that constantly grows hair, you're going to have to take them in and get them trimmed down. While your other types of animals that don't shed a lot may not need that same kind of grooming, they will need to be brushed, have undercoat removed, Make sure the nails are clipped and make sure that there's no external parasites found. Um, a lot of groomers will do light dental cleaning as in brushing the teeth, which is something you should certainly do at home. But they can also point out problems that you need to come see the veterinarian for more definitive treatment. Of. Dr. Christian Broadhurst, always appreciate your advice. Thank you. Have a great new year. Thanks. Happy new year to you too.